All right, so back in the garage working on this thing. I'm going to take off the fender. We're going to try to do a ghetto repair. And then we're going to fix the door hinge because saggy doors. All right. Just talking to myself, there's this little bracket here. A little piece of rubber. Same with this. Probably a little bumper. So that's where that goes. I already dropped the bolt, but we'll figure it out. Open the door. We reveal our hardware. This one's a 12. I want to say this fender has never been taken off because I could still feel the glue on it. Okay, we're gonna reach down low here. Okay, well now take off our expensive corner light. For some reason, this corner light is more expensive than the passenger side. Maybe triple the price. Don't lose that. I'm just figuring it out as I go. Inside fender. We're going to take out this corner piece. And if I ever get lost, I can just re-watch the video that I'm recording right now. Okay. We're going to put this hardware back. All right. One of these suckers on the back of this. Got this nut. Looks like there's two more. And it looks like this is like the worst thing to get to. Maybe I could get to it after I take off the fender. This panel's loose. Oh yeah, we were struggling. Hope I know where all this stuff goes. That's lost forever. Okay. Like all the connectors are stuck. Struggling to get this connector off. I'm gonna say there's some corrosion going on there. Man, I resorted to just cutting the wire. Okay, now we can get to the door hinge. Okay, now that we have the fender off, let's take a closer look at the play. Okay. I don't know if you can see anything, but definitely a lot of play. Part of the stuff I bought online for this car were these door hinge pins. Um, not really any instructions on how to install them, but if you look at them, looks simple enough. Okay, so I have my pin and I have my guides. I can just unbolt the hinge and work on it in the vise. All right, so this pin obviously is longer and I probably have to mushroom the end to make it fit. Definitely some play there. Probably the best thing to do would be grind the mushroom part off and then smack it with a hammer. And since we like efficiency so much, I'm going to try to smack it with a hammer. We're going to skip the step of grinding it. We have a mill. Okay, so that's pretty flush now. The bottom of the hinge is bottomed out on the vise, so this is actually going to work. Okay, and we're just going to smack this sideways. We're going to switch to a smaller punch because this one's getting hung up. Okay. Okay, we're just gonna shove this in the vise and smack the hinge. Okay, you can see how deformed the old pin is. 
This side catches onto there. These are nylon. A lot of rust in here. <laughs> I'm just going to tap these in here. And we're going to use a baby hammer to make sure we don't mess this up. Or these bushings are chamfered. Okay, this is about 10.1 millimeters. This hole is about 9.36. You can see the marks from me trying to get it in. And I don't want to force it in. So maybe I'll add a little chamfer and just run a drill bit. Drill bit is 9.4. So it shouldn't be. Oh, yeah. Okay, we went from 9.3 to 9.57. I can give a little chamfer. Looks a little cleaner. We're bottomed out. So I don't want to force it now, but I'm sure it's going to fit fine. Let's get the other side in and find out if we're going to regret everything. Okay, dab of oil. That's a snug fit right there. We're just going to wire wheel. The pin is going to come in from this way, and then I have to cut off this side. Okay, a couple fine taps here. Okay, let's hope we don't regret anything. Well, I figure this alignment is not as crucial anymore until we get to the end. There might be hope still. Maybe I can knock it back out and put a chamfer. I don't even how I don't even know how that fit in the truck, but check that out. Boom. Luckily I'm doing this, making the mistakes for you guys, so remember to put your chamfer on there. We can do that. Sure. Let's place a nut under it. I feel at this point, I'm not even going to mushroom that. But that's not going to come out. And that has that neural up there, so that should be nice and tight. Admire all the shavings. They took off like 10 years off of these hinges already. And assemble it. The same way we took it out. I know it's only one hinge pin, but let's see if there's a difference. Wow. Okay, now we have to do this funny looking one. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's loose. That's not under tension until you... Open the door. Very easy. That was probably the most intimidating part. Oh, yeah. And just as I thought, I'm going to have to take off the door panel because there's a stud going inside. Don't be a doofus and open your door without a hinge. Because I felt like I bent it. Okay, handle up and floss. All right, didn't see anything on the internet. I don't think that's part of the hinge. I originally thought this piece was a stud. But check out how worn out that is. Okay, we learned something. Should have known this. The top part with the neural, right, should be hit 
from the bottom up, not from the top down. Okay. Got it out. Might as well hammer this in more. Might as well replace this bushing. Okay, we have our door pin here. Pry this up. Okay, and we're literally just going to shove this one on. It's worn out from uh, that bushing being worn out. Get our calipers. If we had a lathe, we could make this perfect. But we're going to freeball it. I can see the line. If I could chuck this up in the drill, that'd be great. And we're going to use our portal band. Just tried to pick that up and it's very hot. Kind of hard to cut because it's like hardened steel. The wrist pin. Okay, so need to get this back together. Probably grind down this bushing a little. There we go. Okay, bottomed out. For some reason I thought it was gonna be longer. Put this nut over, even though there's nothing to grab in the vise anymore. We'll do this, we'll hang this off the edge. Sure. Okay, impressions. Wow. I didn't even have to take off my door panel. I'll fix that later. But there's virtually no sag. Let's get this spring back in. Okay, that's nice and tight. Yeah. Tight. That's it for this week. In the next video, we're gonna fix the door and fix the fender. This fender.